correlation coefficient, also called the Pearson correlation, is denoted by R. It measures the strength of a relationship between two variables as a value between negative 1 and 1. A correlation coefficient closer to 0 indicates there is no correlation. If it's closer to 1, it indicates a strong positive correlation, meaning that when one variable increases, the other proportionally increases. If it's closer to negative 1, then it indicates a strong negative correlation, which means as one variable increases, the other proportionally decreases. There are different implementations of the correlation coefficient. When we are talking about a linear relationship, we use the Pearson correlation. It ratios the covariance between the two variables and their product of the standard deviations. However, the covariance is not interesting on its own. Instead, we use it for metrics like the correlation coefficient. And here are the key points. When R approaches zero, it indicates there is no correlation. If R approaches one, it indicates a positive correlation. If R approaches negative one, it indicates a negative correlation. Now let's talk about the coefficient of determination, which squares the R value. The R square measures any impact that the input variable has on the output variable and scores it between zero and one. It indicates how predictable the relationship is between the input and the output variable based on the proportion and the variation between the two. Notice that as the R approaches negative 1, the R square approaches positive 1. This should not be surprising as when you square a negative number, it will become a positive number. This is useful as the R square is agnostic to the positive or negative nature of the correlation and just establishes if there's a relationship altogether. And these are the key points. As R square approaches zero, it indicates a weak relationship. As R square approaches one, it indicates a strong relationship. One last footnote here. You might recall in the last video where we talked about the sum of squares, which very much play a role in the Pearson correlation. If we want to take a linear regression from a different data set, say the training data set, and apply it to the test data set, take the sum of the squared residuals, and then produce a line simply reflecting the average of the y values as if we didn't use the input variable at all for prediction. We can then set the linear regression against using a simple average to see if the linear regression does anything productive at all. Subtracting this ratio from 1.0, this gives us the R square for any arbitrary line. And that is correlation and the coefficient of determination in three minutes. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to support this channel, please check out my two O'Reilly books, Essential Math for Data Science and Getting Started with SQL. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time on 3-Minute Data Science.